Welcome back everyone now to an I team exclusive investigation. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Parents in East Hartford say they are pretty fed up right now. They bought school uniforms for their children, but months later they still haven't shown up. And they say the store they ordered from is not giving them any answers. So a number of parents reached out to the I team for help. Class has been in session for the last few weeks, but many students in East Hartford still don't have their mandatory school uniforms. I mean, I just can't tell you how many parents are so frustrated with all of this. Colleen Morrissey says she ordered uniforms for her six-year-old daughter, Riley, in July. She paid $150 to Inchworm Clothing in East Hartford, the store recommended by the district. But the shirts and fleeces she bought are still nowhere to be found. Her daughter now forced to wear last year's uniform to school. I can't get through to anyone, so I have to drive down there every week since August to find out where's my kid's stuff. I paid for this. In a similar boat is Ebony McMillan. She says she ordered uniforms for her boys in June and has only received part of the order. She had to buy plain polo shirts for her older son to wear to school. It's ridiculous and it's frustrating for me as a parent because the uniforms are, are required. So I'm trying to teach my boys that they have to follow rules and here we are. I can't follow rules because, you know, nobody else is following rules. Making matters worse, parents tell us the business hasn't told them when the orders will be ready. So we stopped by the store for answers. While the owner, Frank Selmer, wasn't there, he did respond to us by email. He told the I-team they are fulfilling orders as quickly as they can, but have been dealing with a host of issues, from an abbreviated inventory order and build time to the fact they were chosen to be a single source vendor. We try to respond to as many inquiries as possible, but even the largest retailer would find it difficult to do so, serving over 8,000 customers. But parents tell us the staff has been rude at times, no one answers the phone, and the voice mailbox is often full. On Google, more than 50 people have left scathing reviews, giving the store 1.3 out of 5 stars. Terrible place, terrible staff, terrible owner. You took our money, now provide your service. If I could give zero stars, I would. Worst experience ever. Every week I've been calling and nothing. And then as of recently, I can't even get through on the phone. It just goes to a voicemail for somebody named Suzanne. Selmer said he's unaware the business's phone number isn't working, but will look into it and went on to defend his employees. While we don't like to hear about our staff being rude or dismissive, sometimes it's in the eyes of the beholder. Our current staff has been maligned, insulted, and referred to as an unflattering anatomy by customers. But we still require that they remain polite. While Selmer admits that they still need to fill more than 100 orders, the superintendent of East Hartford, Nathan Quinnell, claims there are very few students not in uniform. Despite the transition challenges we faced working with a new vendor, Inchworm Clothing, our school startup in regards to overall uniform compliance was surprisingly successful. Over the past two weeks, our schools have worked with families through this process, and we are nearly in full compliance. But parents we spoke to disagreed. Agree. I think that's a lie. Mm. I think it's an absolute lie because I've seen many students that still have uniforms from last year or don't even have uniforms at all. Either way, Selmer says he's close to being within just a couple of weeks behind as parents continue to wait to get what they paid for. This year it's been nothing but a headache. Now, the I-Team, of course, plans to stay on top of this. We did reach out to the Department of Consumer Protection. Officials there tell us in the last month, two complaints have been filed against Inchworm and are being investigated. The full statements from East Hartford Superintendent and the store's owner can be found on the Channel 3 app.